Hello fishing freaks, we are here on Rainy Lake again. On the last video, me and my dad were doing a smallmouth father-son competition and I hooked into one of these giant pike up here. I didn't even know what I had. It was a absolute trophy. So check out the fight from this Mondo. Pike. Pike broke me off. I just had my tube hanging over the side of the boat and a pike came up and grabbed it. I just retied and another pike just came over and grabbed it. See, I'm about pulled my rod in the water. Yeah, this is a this is a large one here. Oh yeah, this is a large northern, eh? Okay. It's a rather large northern. Too bad these don't count double. These guys get a little tricky when you get them close to the boat. <laughs> Woo! This is my PB pike right here. Woo! Man, now how to grab this sucker. This might be bigger than yours. It's very, it's very hardy. I just had, I had my tube sitting a foot under the water and he came up and my rod started like moving off. It's a big northern, eh? Do you have long pliers? Yeah, I'd like to use those. If you don't mind. I might be able to get it without pliers. I just gotta I just gotta land him. How do you land these big boys, eh? You need a oh this one's from Saskatoon. He's been eating them beans there, eh? Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna try to gill grab them. Their gills are okay, I think. Yeah, you don't wanna be messing around putting your, your hand in one of these guys' mouth. I guarantee ya. My goodness. You wanna talk about a fun fight in a kayak, though. Might as well have caught a three-foot alligator. All right. Let's see what we got here. Woo, watch them hands there, son. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, look at that Mondo, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Get you unhooked. There he goes. Now that was a giant pike and I may not catch another pike that size the rest of my life but I thought it'd be fun to go try again today and target those fish. So we're taking the kayak out again today and hopefully we get that monster Northern Pike explosion, baby. Now here are the tasty treats we have for today. I got a duck, this is a Savage Gear duck. And then we've got a rat. Okay, so those two right there, those are good pike candy. And then on the last video, what I actually caught that giant pike on was a tube, a tube I was using for smallmouth. So I'm gonna keep one of those tied on too. While I'm traveling from area to area, I'm gonna control this rat behind me. Who knows, something may come up and grab it. GoPro, stop. Oh, hooked up, hooked up. Hooked up trolling the rat. Oh my gosh. I didn't even see the explosion. Oh my god, it's a giant smallie. He came up and smoked this rat. Oh my gosh. Wow. I cannot believe that small enough killed him. Hit that rat. This is a big rat. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's not that big. I thought you were a giant just because you were hitting a rat, dude. What were you doing? 
Look at that. Came up and smacked that rat around. Woo! Yeah, you're just a little guy. You're fighting like crazy. That's nuts. That's just... These little brown guys are vicious. I love you. Oh, I love the way you smell, too. Well, hell. I certainly don't mind catching a few brown fish in the process here. The big pike's just got to come up and smash this rat. Looks too good. I think it's a smallmouth though. Another smallmouth on this rat. What in the world? Oh my gosh, it's a toad smallie, baby. Wow. Woo -woo. Now that's a big one. Wow. That's so cool. Smalley just came up and crushed that rat. It's not a giant pike, but that's a toad Smalley baby on that rat. That's fun. That's fun. Woo! Love ya. Spit it right there. <laughs> Another smallmouth. This is starting to turn into a smallmouth rat episode. Another smallie just coming out of nowhere, crushing it. What in the war? Do you guys like rats? I guess so. I'll tell you what, there is uh, nothing quite like a smallmouth topwater strike. And I wouldn't think they would hit a rat, but I've learned something new today. These guys are ferocious. Come on, big ducky. Oh, I just had one flash on it. Just had one flash. I just had another smallmouth try to eat this. Came up and boiled on it. Long pause. Got it. Another smallie on the rat. What in the world? They just fight so much harder than large now. Got more stamina. I love it. I love your stamina. Barely hooked, but there it is. Look at the girth. Look at the girth. A mm. little bit of scarring on the tail from the spawn. Other than that, an absolute gorgeous smallmouth. Oh, there she goes. 
big smolly on the tube this time. They had to throw it. It had to be done. Oh my gosh. I'm just liking this current break back here. Oh, they fight so hard. God, it's a pig. Oh my gosh. Currents coming through, big boulders. There was some grass down there. Couldn't resist throwing that tube. This is, a, this is an opposite day right here, guys. For the last video, I'm trying to catch smallmouth and I'm catching giant pike. All I know is I'm not mad at the situation. All right, we'll let this guy go off and do his thing. Go eat crustaceans and Kill mayflies and who knows. You ready guy? You ready? Oh he just put up a mayfly as he was leaving. A great thing about this rat is it essentially being a wake bait. Most wake baits have trouble in waves like this, but with this one, I think because of the tail and the body structure, it just it stays track and true. It doesn't flip hardly at all even in these big waves. Oh, small mouth behind it. Huh. Nice dark small mouth, tried to get it right there. Oh, got him. Came back and got it. Wow. <sighs> Vicious. They are just vicious, vicious. Look at that, you got hooks seven ways to Sunday right now. Woo, baby, you grab the tail. Mm-hmm, ah. You could be food for a giant pike, but I enjoy your fight. If you would have told me that a smallmouth would have hit this this morning, I would have laughed in your face. But now, I am pretty confident on catching smallies with a rat lure. And I'm gonna keep one on me at all times. Mm. Oh, pretty windy in here. This little pocket, but there is a lot of this little grasses. I'm not sure what to call them, but they get hung on pretty much every lure except a frog. So I'm gonna frog it up in here for old big greeny. I'm not talking about largemouth. There's zero largemouth in this lake. And it's funny how you fish for largemouth is pretty much how you fish for, for pike out here. Same sort of scenario. Grass. Oh, golly! Folks, I'm pretty certain that was not a pike. Daggum smallmouth are up in the grass, too. My God, look at them. No, was that a pike? That is a pike. It is a pike. It is a pike. It is a pike. There he goes. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Got it. Got the pike. Got the pike. Woo -hoo -hoo! There he is. I thought you were a smallmouth at first. Oh yeah. Back in here where you should be, baby. Woo! Not a giant. Just awesome. Look how far gone that frog is. Hopefully there's a big one, bigger one back in here. Like old big daddy caught previously. But that gets fun. On the frog, baby. Oh, oh, got him, got him. Oh, dang, it's smally. He swirled on it. He swirled on it, I paused it and then started it again. Oh, he just hit my pedals coming after me my gosh at this point I'll just say throw a rat lure for, for smallmouth because it's incredible on windy days oh my gosh it's all right mr. Smalley I'll never get tired of you and your big fat chunkiness your beautiful brownness you're so naughty when you're being caught Oh, okay. If 
fun times talking to fish. Let me sniff you. Look how small your mouth is. I can barely get my nose in there. And you're so fat. Say hi to the fishing freaks at home. Fun times with smallies. You know, I really should just be throwing a tube because everyone that gets annoyed with catching these these northerns or they bite their lures off, they're usually throwing tubes or jigs or something like that. Apparently they love tubes. I'm just trying to, you know, target a Mondo here. Target a Mondo with a, a mammal species lure. I'm about to go back to the amphibian though. Oh, got him, got him. Oh, gosh, it's a small mouth. What the? Ah, oh, man. I mean, what am I gonna do? Complain here? That is a gorgeous small mouth. Beautiful white belly. Choked my frog. I had a good feeling about it. I'm in pike territory back here in the grass. came up and thrashed it. Normally, the pike are a problem. It's like you can't, you can't stay away from them. And I've just hit this magic streak today where uh, it's like the pike don't want anything to do with me. It's like they know I'm trying to target them. Oh yeah, we got a pike. Whoa! You guys are not gonna believe what happened to my rat. I was trolling it across the lake as I was coming back and a big pike ate it, took all the line off of my reel. So this is the only wake bait I had. Oh, oh my gosh, these things are crazy. Mm. Look at that guy. Not a giant, but fun. seeing a mayfly hatch right now. They're literally hatching right as I'm leaving Canada. Gorge yourself, my beautiful brown fish. Feast, and I will come back to you next year. Well, today ended up being an awesome day in the Canadian wilderness. I went after those big pike, and I ended up catching the big brown fish instead on a rat lure. I got a new respect for smallmouth now. They are such vicious animals. They kind of remind me of Winston. They're like short, stocky, and they got that super aggressive attitude around each other, you know? It's like they fight over food and they're just bulldogs, man. I love the smallmouth up here. It's just been an awesome time. I gotta thank the Van Hefties um, and the lodge we stayed out, the, the Possum Lodge. I think we're gonna be coming up here every year and hanging out with those guys. It's just been uh, a great time again. And just like any good fishing trip, it seems like it's a little too short, you know? You always wanna stay a few extra days, especially when the fishing's good. Woo, these flies. I wanna know from you guys, if you were coming up here, which species would you target? If you could only target one, would you go after smallmouth? Would you go after pike? Or would you go after walleye? The walleye are super delicious. They don't fight hard. The pike are an awesome topwater strike, awesome grass predator. They hit it just like a bass, except they're, they get really big. And then smallmouth, they're just aggressive bulldogs. They don't get giant like pike. But man, you can just catch them all sorts of ways, and it was on fire this week. Canada, keep your small mouth girthy. And as always, guys, thank you for tuning in to this video, and I'll see you on the next one later. Baby, you grab the tail. Mm-hmm. I see what you're doing there, sir.